What's up, Madden 25 gamers? In today's episode of Scheme of the Week with our Miami Dolphins offensive scheme for the Minnesota Vikings team, we're going to be taking a look at our base man beater, and the play is going to be our play action wide receiver cross out of the shotgun tight doubles on. Remember, this can be found in the Miami Dolphins uh, offensive playbook. And real quick, if you guys want to check the links in the description for me, you can find part one to this scheme if you may have missed it or just want to watch it again for a refreshment. PA wide receiver cross here. And uh, this is our basic man beater uh, play that we like to use. Now, obviously, if with the new audible system, we only have limited amount of audibles at our disposal uh, from this formation. We have the PA wide receiver cross, the Dolphins drive, the HB draw, and the double stick. All right, so obviously the HB draw is going to be called against coverage defenses and, and things like that that, that, that the, your opponent may use to, to try to draw you off. And I really like the shotgun tight doubles on draw. If I'm going to run a draw, it's going to be from this formation. All right, so PA wide receiver cross, um, what we're going to do with this play as far as hot routes go is we're going to put our tight end on a zig route. We're going to put our running back here. We're going to put him on a wheel route, and we're going to motion Jennings to the left, and we're going to put him uh, on a hitch route. And remember, guys, we could use or catch these hitch routes uh, against man coverage, one-on-one -on -one coverage. We're going to snap, throw it. Click on, and we're just going to make that user catch uh, on the on the slot right there. So next read on this play is going to be the um, the route to the tight end here. So we're going to motion across, and this time we're going to just check out of it. They may be in cover two or something, and if they give us this look, we can easily hit the tight end against man. And then... The next read on this play is our running back. Um, our running back will be breaking wide. A lot of times he's going to be the big play uh, player here in this situation. You see a lot of space for Adrian Peterson, the best running back in the game, a lot of room uh, to run. That's what's going to happen. All right, and then our fourth read on this play is going to be pa uh, Pitt Patterson. You have to throw this route at a specific time, uh, right when he cuts to the up. Uh, cuts up field is where you want to throw this route you want to throw with an outside pass lead against man coverage if they're in zone coverage you probably don't want to throw this route I'll be honest um, unless it's wide open but if they're man pass lead down to the left and you see that they're not going to be able to touch it no user catch needed and uh, you're going to be able to beat man that way and then finally the last read this is more of a zone read or a check down but Rudolph coming across the middle on the crossing pattern um, it will eventually beat man with a pass lead down and to the right. Like I said, it's our very last read. Uh, really never have to go to that route uh, when I face man coverage. Or really when I face his own coverage. But it's just nice to have a, a check down read. Um, pass lead down and to the right. And he's just going to get, uh, he's just going to body that guy up. So that's how we like to use the PAY receiver cross against man coverage. Now let's take a look at the double stick against man coverage. What I want to do with this play is I like to smart route both of these stick routes right here. I like to put Jennings on a smart routed out route. I like to put pa uh, Peterson on a wheel. And I like to put uh, Patterson on a drag route. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to motion Patterson to the left four steps. So one two three four snap our first read is going to be the wheel route to adrian peterson this is the only read you'll need against man coverage a lot of the times uh, it takes a lot to stop that route um, but if they do stop it if it's not open when you read if, if you if you're going through progression and they cover it then you're going to go to patterson okay so you're going to progress back across field to your four step drag and you see it's the motion snap that beats uh, the man coverage we've been over this a couple times this season uh, four steps is what i like to use on that motion and then our third read is going to be between these two stick routes, whichever one we want to look at. It doesn't matter. Pass lead them down, and you see they're just going to be sitting in, against man coverage for an easy 10-yard pickup. And then our final read is our deep out route to Greg Jennings. Um, just in case they have some, some zones set up to the inside, you see Greg Jennings is going to easily uh, beat his man in man coverage. So that's the double stick, and then the last play I want to go over is the Dolphins drive. Uh, here you see we get a corner route, we get a drag route from Jennings, we get a wheel route from AP, and this route to Carlson. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to motion Patterson to the left, and I'm going to put him on a smoke screen when I motion him out. So now put him on the smoke screen, snap go, 
And your first read on this play is going to be your corner route to your tight end. Well, it's actually going to be your smokescreen corner route combo. So, for example, if they are in like a zone, and this is why we use this for zone, really. But uh, if they're in a zone, um, when you if and they have a purple zone, then when you motion Patterson out, he's gonna you're gonna wait till he sets the course. He's gonna be wide open uh, on the smokescreen for easy easy five ten yards and it's just something you want to take with the defense gives you a lot of times that will be open uh, I found uh, playing some of the better uh, some of the more competitive players in the game that a lot of times they don't cover the flats uh, myself included and then again our second read is now going to be our tight end and this is going to be man and it's also going to be cover two uh, or cover three if it has a flat zone on it so for example here we're going to look at a cover two play and we'll show you this is basically just a smash concept See, when we motion Patterson out, he's going to sit there, and we're just going to pass lead triangles route to the left uh, once he clears and uh, easily beat zone coverage. And then the route to Jennings is our third read, and it's just going to cross underneath, and we can playmaker that to the right if it doesn't beat man. And then our fourth read um, is going to be Carlson and you want to hit him right when he cuts to the outside so one two no no now hit Carlson a little bit early there on that um, let me see if I can get you a good uh, example of what I'm trying to show and guys all these this formation like I said you know you could run one formation all, all game uh, you know I I ran the gun normal wing uh, or the gun wing trio offset for a while just that formation and to uh, have a lot of success so when we mix in all this other stuff you know Obviously, it's information overload to you guys, but as you progress and get uh, more used to the scheme, you'll understand why we use all these plays. So there's that route against man. And then lastly, Adrian Peterson's route um, sometimes will be open, and not always, but a lot of times with a lob pass uh, and a pass lead up, it really it, it's going to crush uh, two men under. That's what I really like about this uh, formation is everything really just beats man coverage. It all... I mean, just the most simplest routes that you could think of in this formation will beat man coverage, especially these wheel routes to the running back uh, with just a lob pass lead up. They just really crush man. So that's the gun tight doubles on, guys. Be sure to add it to your formation and uh, check out the rest of the scheme later on in the week. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Madden 25 uh, tips and tricks. See you guys tomorrow.